How's it going, everyone? I'm going to show you all a quick guide to this new ghost hunting game, Demonologist. I got my buddy Scott here. Say hello. Hello. So we're going to go ahead and show you all how to even uh, play this game. Um, obviously, first things first, when you come in, you got to come over here to this left screen. You can select your, your map and everything. So we're going to go with the abandoned house. Um, one of the one of my gripes about this game is that you have to level up to get to level five to even mess with your difficulty. So when you first start, you'll be on easy until you get to level five. Um, leveling up is a little difficult, but as you get used to the game and how to do everything and all the exorcism stuff, which we'll show you, um, it gets a little bit easier. Should we should we do it on medium or easy? I'm gonna do it on should medium. Do it on easy, okay. Um, over here is your store, so you can go ahead and buy all your stuff. When you start the game, you're not gonna have any money. Um, everything's actually like really expensive, um, which we should probably buy some sanity pills. I don't really have that much money. I don't have enough to buy sanity pills. Shit. Yeah, we'll raw dog it. Um, what else do we need? Photo camera, fourteen hundred. Don't have enough for that. Uh, candle. I'll, buy. I'll get the candle. Yeah, I got the camera. I can buy, I can get us two sanity pills. Okay. And you already got the camera? Uh, yeah, I put the camera and two sanity pills in there. Okay, cool. So we got that. So you can buy your stuff here. And then up here you got your arrows. So you can mess, you can customize your character and stuff. Um, you can buy real estate, which is your safe house, which is what we're in right now. And then you can buy stuff to like put in your safe house. So that's what that menu, that's what that menu does. So, and this is the safe house. Anyway, all right, let's jump on in. Another big gripe about this game, uh, sometimes you go in and it will take a while. That's a nice tongue, buddy. Oh, if you're naked. Um, sometimes full it'll, Kendall. it'll take you yeah, a full Ken doll, dude. Sometimes it'll take a while to get all of the evidence, and then sometimes you can run in and get it pretty quickly. Um, just kind of depends on how the game ends up playing out. And you'll see why we needed this camera and the candle here in a little bit. It goes into after you find the ghost and everything like that. Um, you can do some challenges, and then after you've completed the challenges, you can do an exorcism of the house, which just means more money and XP to help you level up and uh, be able to buy stuff faster. All right. Um, we've only got the one EMF, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. EMF detector and um, what's that tool? Do you have it? Yeah, you got the uh, the ghost come. Yep. So this little thing right here, he'll aim it at the wall. Actually, here, drop it for me really quick. There you go. I'll give it back. And you aim it at the wall, and it'll show you um, ectoplasm on the walls, which we call ghost come uh, so yeah if i find some i'll give it back to you so you can show it cool all right <laughs> ghosty uh, mr thickums mr thickums it's a very dark game as well so which i dig Anything in here? Yeah, here in, in, in your wood shop? You, uh, you going in your wood shop? You, uh, you playing with some swords? You, uh... So far, I've only ever seen ghosts come on the walls. Yeah, same. Same with, like, fingerprints only show up on door handles and light switches. Yep. Mm -hmm. I should have grabbed a drink. Before we started this, the library. Also, there's uh, tarot cards, Ouija boards, and um, um, voodoo dolls. Yeah. Uh, to help you with getting activity or anything like that. Let's see if it happens in here. Hello? Do it. Do it. Oh, she's just laughing this time. All right, let's try this out. What's the name? Vic oh, it's, uh, Victoria. Victoria. Huh. Crazy. I like it. 
little hidden rooms. Anger. So obviously that name was right there on the um, the little pedestal or whatever. Oh, and then this one right here. So you got all these pictures and stuff. This is the word you're going to say on the forehead of this painting, and it'll cause this wall to go backwards. And then over here, you got this other door. And obviously, you say it again, dream. And it'll open the door for you. Ah, I'm, I'm high. I just got, I'm stoned. Balls, man. What is this? Calm down. Uh, I don't know if that was because of that. My name is, and so this corresponds with that painting, whatever was said, like written on the forehead will show you. Anger. It'll open the door for you. I wonder if the, I wonder if this is why it did that. Calm down. Nope. Not why it did that. Nothing. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Another thing about this is there's not any like dedicated hiding spots like Phasmophobia. Um, but what we've noticed so far is if you get hunted, you can pretty... You're being hunted. I'm dead. Are no you... idea where it came from. Just died. So it's, it's got to be in this room. All right, we're going to try this again. Because <laughs> that, was, that was ridiculous, dude. That has never Amazing. happened that fast before. I hope we don't get murdered on 80% sanity left still. It has never happened that fast that before. That was kind of insane. It's one only answers when you are alone. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I didn't show you all earlier. Okay. So over here on these screens is where you see oops, is where you see all of your stuff. So you got your cameras, your sanity, and your missions. Right here, it'll tell you, like, obviously, only answers alone in the name is Leon Wells. So, and as you, whenever you find the ghost, then you can move into optional objectives. And then when you finish the optional objectives, you can do the exorcism. All right, let's, <laughs> we need a win. <laughs> I think we've had a win since Psst. you haven't had a win in a while, I guess. No. I won on probably been like three, Cy four games. Cyclone. I got, yeah, I got the one on Cyclone, but. All right, let's see if, I think tarot cards sometimes spawn here too on the kitchen counter. Yeah. There's like, I think there's like three or four spots, three, at least three spots that they can all spawn. Go oh God. I hate that one. I hate that one so much. I haven't seen that one in a long time. Oh, Ouija board. Nice. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, here, that's I'll, four I'll spots. This is the fourth. Oh, okay. Here you go. Where are you? B. Oh no. A. It's in the basement. Yes. Yep. I don't know if you still have to spell it out. Goodbye. It has to spell out before you can say it. Goodbye. So be sure you say goodbye to it. Um, I don't know if it if it does it like Faz, where you have to say goodbye or else it won't work. I don't think so because I tried doing that the one time. Remember? Yeah. We were trying to get a picture of it. I tried picking it up and just dropped it. Nothing happened. You got EMF three down here. Okay. Um, you want to drop your stuff and go get stuff, yeah. and then I'll try to contact on the spirit box while you're gone. It's yeah. First. Only responds while you're alone. We're getting EMF four. Hold on, let me walk around with it a little bit. See if we can get five. That'd be tight. Yeah, it's really active right in this section. Okay, I'll watch it while I'm talking. I'll go ahead and put this in the middle here. So this thing, by the way, everyone, this does like a like a little Spons ghost Mr. demon Thickums. baby thing. Mr. Thickums is what we call him. He's like three foot five with the thickest ass you've ever seen. Um, <laughs> he'll he'll like spawn over it for like two seconds, and that's how you get the ESG evidence. Hello. Are you here? Where are you? Got the generator. Spirit oh, box. Shut the fuck up. You got spirit box? Yep. Dope. All right. This. I will look first. I do Come love off. the environment of this game too. Is just so much better than. 
fast. Like it's it's a little bit slower with the hunts, but the environment as a whole is uh, a lot better. A lot scarier. The graphics are a lot better. It's just a lot more haunting. Like mm -hmm. stuff being thrown around a lot more. Oh man, the little girl behind the couch popped up again. Nice. Mr. Ghosty. We have a theory that with the lights, you can only have on two at a time in a house. And if you I mean, it's like two or run three around, and you start turning on more, yeah. Yeah, and as you turn on more, the, the lights blow out. So pay attention to that. Like, don't turn on too many lights. We usually don't really even turn on lights. All right, I'm not getting any ghosts. Come, I dropped it right here next to the chair. What the I'm hell? I'm going to go grab some more stuff. Uh, what else is out there? Uh, the camera and the candle. Oh, that's it. Okay, I'll bring him down. Yeah. Let's see if it touches this door at all. All right. Oh, my lord. Spooky. Spooky. It's a hunchback. It's a hunchback of Notre Dame, dude. Notre Dame. That thing will, that thing will eat you. He'll eat you. He'll be like, hey, man, let me get a snack. You're gonna count. Oh, freezing temps. Nice. Okay, what what are we working with then? So it can't be ESG. Yeah. I think there's a it, there's a good possibility of it being EMF, considering how many times it's gone to four. Yeah. But I'm usually wrong about these things. Facts. You ain't never lie. I ain't never lied. I ain't never said a lie in my life. Oh, whose goddamn white baby is that? <laughs> it popped up. <laughs> Hello? Are you here? Can you make a painting? That'd be tight. Or show EMF5? That'd be even cooler. Let's see when we can pin it. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, it's doing the thing again. This thing's active as hell in here. I might put the painting right here. Oh, come on. Fingerprints. Fingies! Nice. Okay. All right, it's a goal. Stop. Stop doing okay. things to me. All right, cool. You got the okay. candle on. Candle. Here, I'll let you take the picture since you're good at it. All right. Oh, it already blew out the candle. Oh, it's tight. Oh, now we got to go run around and find the um, no. thing. Here, let me let me get the thing. I'll let you get the picture because it's not that crazy of a thing, but just to show on this one. So, yeah, so now we're into the challenge phase since we have the ghost. And the challenge on this map is you have to get it to blow out a candle. You have to find the silhouette in a chair, which you use, which you use the uh, cum monitor here to find a ghost sitting in a corner in a chair, like a human silhouette sitting in a chair. And it'll be glowing not, white. Yeah, it's not a chair that's already on the map. Yeah, it's it's, it's just like anywhere. It's completely invisible, so. Um, and you have to get a picture of the ghost, which is what he's working on while we look for this. And then once you do that, then you can do the exorcism, which is like collecting a bunch of fingers. Where you at? You sitting around? Where, where you sitting at? What you, what you sitting at? What you shitting? You on the toilet? I think it's usually in corners, right? I, don't I just think saw it. I saw it and I turned towards it and the camera went down like I couldn't get a picture of it. Mm. Weird. Why did I'm really it's like, like it's that ghost that looks like a swollen testicle with tiny legs. Yeah, I saw it got earlier. It. You got it? Yep. Tight. And it blew out the candle. I'm gonna go outside whenever you can get. Oh, found it. It was right next to the dress. So that's okay. what that looks like, by the way. This is what you're looking for. Alright, I got a finger. 
take some sanity pills. So now we're looking for five fingers to put down in the bowls in the basement. Um, and they you can carry more than one at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can carry so. more than one at a time. So, and they glow, so they're pretty easy to find. How's my sanity looking? Do I even need to come in there? I probably should. Yo, yeah, you have seven percent. Okay, I'm coming. I got two fingers. You totally get the fuck out of there. I'm running to you now, as fast as I can. But we got got two fingers. Um, I found the third in the hallway. You might need to just take both. So I still got 60%. Okay, I'm about. I'm at like 52, 56. You're at zero. I'm finally <laughs> out the house. Also, um, pictures of ghosts and like the Ouija board, tarot cards, all that stuff doesn't do anything in this game for you money wise um, like it does in Faz. So don't even worry about taking pictures of that. Oh, uh, Ouija board drains your sanity like crazy. Even if you're just holding it, so you could like have the Ouija board in your inventory, not even using it, and it'll just drop your sanity like crazy. That's true. I'm sitting here wondering, like, why is my sanity down? I'm I forgot sorry, I used yeah, it. I'm just sitting, yeah, like 55, 60, you're at zero. Okay, okay so I got good. two fingers. Right, I, third's yeah, I in the hallway. Thing. Yo, you have two fingers already? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go in here and swing a Louie like these rooms. Hey, one in the kitchen right here. Grab this one. And then I guess we'll hunt for the other one really quick since we know where the... I know I found one here one time. Nope, not there. I'm going to go ahead and put the fingers down in there. I don't think it adds to activity at all. I think so. It's down here. It's right here. I'm going to check it. in. Oh, here. I got the fifth one. I found okay. it. Actually, here. Well, you got the flashlight? Just drop. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to drop my, drop my flashlight and grab it. Oh, shit. Okay, I can't so. see a thing. Yep. Oh, how do you think I feel? You guys always grab the flashlights from me when there's three of us. <laughs> well, don't be so slow, <laughs> dummy. <laughs> but at this point, I'm just used to it, so... And then, boom. Exorcism right. completed! That's it. And that's what happens. Boom! Oh, and you don't have to worry about taking anything back with you to the tent. Um, it's It'll keep everything as long as you stay alive. Same with, like, sanity pills and stuff. Even if you use them, if you stay alive, you'll have them for the next round. Which is nice. I don't think you even really had to worry about it in Faz either. Yeah. No, I don't think so. If you die on easy, you get a 50% refund. And if you die on medium, you get 25. I'm guessing if you die on hard, you're just shit out of luck. Yeah. So here, right. and then here's your checklist. Content completed, all that stuff, and you're good. You can't do any of the challenges of exorcism until you put a guest to the ghost in. So, And if you get it wrong, it deducts money from the rest of the stuff that you did. Um. All right, look at that. We made our cash. We're doing it all. I have 55 of these coins. I don't even know what those do. I think that's the XP that you got, dude. Is it? <laughs> that's XP? Sure. Oh, okay, very well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 55 XP. All right, y'all. Well, there's your... Little little guy, did I miss anything? I think we pretty much covered uh, it all. I don't think so, yeah. The main main shit at least. Cool. I guess we'll do uh Yeah. There it is. There's your guide. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope this helped y'all a lot. I know this game can be a little bit confusing when you first start out. Um, but it is fun. It is worth it. It has its slow moments, but you know, I think it's a good game. I enjoy it. I like it more than Faz. So anyway, if you did like, drop a like, sub. And y'all have a good day.